for today's video because basically I hired my friend who is a actual real deal celebrity stylist to thrift for me and I have no idea what is in here. Let me give you a little bit of a backstory. My dear friend from LA, her name is Bella. She's worked as a stylist for many years in LA and she's so incredibly talented. And for fun, she started doing this thing where she will thrift curated boxes for her friends. And so I said, can I be next? <laughs> what we did is I filled out this little form with all of my sizing and all of my preferences. I sent over a Pinterest board with things I'm really liking. And then I told her how many pieces I wanted to purchase and she thrifted it for me. I paid her, she sent it here. And now here we are. So I'm first going to review what I told her and show you the inspiration. And I have not peeked. I've taken off the tape, but I have not peeked. And it has been so freaking hard to not see what she found for me. Um, she said, are there any parts of your body you normally like to highlight? I told her normally my waist. Um, she said, if there are any parts of your body you normally like to hide? I said, normally my boobs. I normally wear like a square neckline because otherwise, Things just read way too booby on me. And then I told her I'm not a huge fan of primary colors or ultra bright colors, but I'm okay to have my limits pushed. I normally like earthy fall tones. Here's the Pinterest board that I made. She asked for like eight to 10 pictures of things I like. I told her I basically love anything Parisian chic slash coastal grandma slash Nancy Drew. So excited to see this and since ordering this box, she has decided to open this to the public. Um, like I said, this is just me supporting a friend. I paid for this myself, but I will link her website in case you also want her, a real deal stylist to thrift for you. I'll link that for you. Okay, let's get to unboxing. I say we take out things one by one and we try everything on. Of course, duh. I'm really so excited. <gasps> I'm sorry, you can't even see in here, but on top I see accessories. Oh my gosh. How did she find this thrifted? Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's, I also see shoes on top and then we'll get into the clothes. How did she find these? These are exactly like what I pinned. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I cannot wait to try these on together with whatever outfit feels the best with. Okay, let's get to pulling things out one by one. <gasps> we have a sweater vest cardigan style type situation that is a knit and is a neutral and oh my gosh, I cannot wait. The thing that I'm so excited about this is I'm going to Paris <laughs> in December. So I need very cute knits and such for the cold weather there. This is so absolutely precious. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is pull everything out at once so that we can see what goes together best as an outfit and then try it on, okay? Because I don't know what else is in here, so I don't know how to pair things. But maybe there's like a matching little something that we could try this on with. <gasps> Look at this flowy blouse with the buttons in the back. Wait, she's like literally finding the exact things from my Pinterest board. Like this has such a similar vibe to this, does it not? Oh my gosh, guys. How Nancy Drew, how did she do this? How did she do this? This with this could be such a vibe. Oh, there's still more. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Literally, she just, <laughs> how did she do this? Also similar vibes to these pants, but in a different neutral. <sighs> I cannot wait to pair these all up together. Oh, so fun. Square neckline, poofy sleeve, linen-y type material of a blouse. Are you kidding? Oh. This little tank is so sweet. I have nothing like this. I have hardly anything in this color and I definitely don't have anything with a detail like that. Fun. These are so retro cute. Oh my goodness, I don't even know which one to pair these with because that is so stinking cute. I have no patterned shorts like this at all. Definitely not like of a denim adjacent. That's so fun. There's so much in here. A dress! A dress with a low back. Oh, this would be really fun too with that cardigan. 
and it's an A-line. It highlights my waist, it hides my hips, just like I like. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Okay, this is a dress with like a mock neck, open back, and it's like, <gasps> poofy dream, you know what this is so fun for? Bridal things. I love this. Okay, so much fun. This and this together even. Let's get to trying on. Let's get to mixing and matching and trying these pieces on and seeing how they look together. Okay, first things first. I wanted to try on this knit, uh, what do you call this? It's not a cardigan. Vest with a turtleneck underneath and the skirt to see how it looks together. I kind of want to try this without the turtleneck as well, but I love, love this in itself. This skirt, I love it so much. And I tried a little too aggressively to get over my hips and I might have ripped the back, but I'm going to get it fixed because I love the length of it and everything about it. And I think it's just such a cute fall layering piece. Like it's giving Gilmore Girls, it's giving Nancy Drew, all this together. It's just so stinking cute. So I'm excited to try to style this more ways too to figure out how I want to pack for Paris. Because I'm going to have to take one suitcase for a very long time there with very cold winter clothes. So see all the different variations of this. <laughs> okay, I think I like this better with nothing underneath it. Um, just kind of warm like this, which is such a good transitional piece for Texas fall, where it's like a little bit crisp and then warms up to like 83 degrees by the afternoon. But these pants, do you know how hard it is for pants to fit me perfectly along the waist, no gaping, have room for my hips and be long enough. Let me show you full body just a second. Look at the length of these. These are so perfect. These are so perfect. And this is gonna finally break my white and cream trouser curse to where every pant I buy is white and cream. And I don't know why it ends up that way, but these are so comfy and perfect. Like no alterations needed, no notes. Oh my gosh, I just love this together. <laughs> Are y'all ready for this combo? I tried on these shorts with this super fun high neck blouse and the shoes. A lot of my shorts recently I had to get rid of because they were a little too tight. So it's nice to have some shorts that I feel like I can kind of grow into if I need to. And the neckline on this is just so incredible. I love that this buttons at the waist so it kind of gives it a cinch almost cropped look and that sleeves button as well for that kind of romantic Parisian billowy balloon sleeve situation and just are these shoes not everything I just love these just love them guys this shirt with the jeans I already owned and these shoes just take a minute for this outfit together is literally this I mean, I'm so shook. Okay, I wanted to try on this poofy black blouse just with the jeans as well. And I think this one's really fun because, well here it is completely untucked, but I kinda, I kinda like the little French tuck. I think that this one is fun because I feel like if I wanted to wear it off the shoulder, it's actually so fun. I have been, um, Okay, I went down a rabbit hole, this is a whole side story, of this Instagram called anti-bride or anti-bride, of just like brides that are breaking the wedding norms. And there's a lot of really fun dresses that are like excessively poofy and like so many layers and off the shoulder. And I think it's just such a cool look that's kind of like at least taking the wedding world by storm. And so I love that that's kind of replicable here in a sense. So fun. Oh my gosh, and there's still so much more to try on. I'm gonna try on just the tank with these jeans while I have it on, even though it's blue. I feel like it'd be best with like a dark denim, but. Okay, this one is so incredibly comfortable. Like so comfortable. I, like I said, have nothing really like this. I do feel like light blues are more flattering on me than I realize. I like think in my mind like, oh, I have dark features, so blue is not really my color until I try it on and I'm like, actually, I actually think that that kind of works on my complexion. So very fun detailing up front. I feel like this almost gives early 2000s in a fun way that I don't really have in my wardrobe yet. So that is really fun. And we love the neckline. Okay, this dress 
is really fun. It has much more of like a drop waist than I was expecting. Like it almost kind of goes down to, what do you even call that? It's not like a low rise waist, but kind of, I guess just a drop waist. And it has a very low open back, which is kind of hot, not gonna lie. Very into it, but I feel like it balances really well with this mock neck kind of higher neckline. I think I would get it taken in just a bit up here to read super fitted, and I feel like that would really help the whole line of this dress. Here's more of a look of the full silhouette. So it is fully a maxi dress, not a midi dress, which I also love. I think is so fun. I do think I want to get this altered so that I could wear it for something. I could wear it for him, even just a shoot. I mean, if I was going to France when it was not so cold, this would be so fun to wear around. But here's what it would look like if I took in that waist a little bit more. Here's what it looks like right now. Where are those really fun earrings? Just a second, I just had an idea for a fun way to style this. Imagine a more styled shoot with something like this. With this dress, like, wouldn't that be so? It's very anthropology, that's what it's giving very anthropology and I feel like that would be so fun. Maybe I should do it. And lastly, this purse that I just adore. I think it's so sweet and so perfect and so fun with honestly any of those outfits. Bella, 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 Bella. Thanks for hanging out with me while I do a video that is simply for fun for me. I love to mix those in every once in a while where I'm like, I'm doing this one for no reason other than I really want to do this one. Very fun. Like I said, I'll link Bella's information down below. She's starting to do this for some public orders now as well, which is just so much fun. I cannot believe how not only did she find such specific things, but also sizing. Like that is hard work. That is so impressive. If there are any other kind of similar, fun, lighthearted video requests, I would love to know from you. I'm trying to build up more of a backlog of ideas for videos like that um, to kind of, you know, sp like space out the vlogs a little bit and just keep variety because you know what they say about variety? It's the spice of life. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. So let's take all night, all night, all night, all night, all night. If we're looking for each